Alright guys, so had you been following me on YouTube and Twitter, I uh, predicted the pump, the top, and the crash. Uh, make sure that you do follow me on Twitter because that's where I go to first to uh, keep everyone updated. By the way guys, I am offering, um, I do have lifetime options. Uh, it's $2.99 for everything, including tutorials, and $2.49 if you don't want the tutorials. Um, I'll cover that, but if you do want to pay with crypto, just go to the contact, contact me via email, and I'll set you up. Uh, let's see here. So this video I put up on May 7th, and I was saying when we hit this ring, if if we don't cross it, we could get a pump and potentially get topped out right here at this red ring. If we cross it, we get a drop. I'm going to show you how this played out. This was a post I made on May 7th. See, so we were approaching the ring. This was the video I put up, the one I'm referencing right here. You can see we pushed up. As soon as we hit the ring, we got a pump. We got we didn't quite make it there. We got topped out, came back down. Um, you can see we ended up pushing up. I was saying that this uh, this uh, blue ring right here would be resistance. I'll show you these charts on the larger scale so you can see what's going on here. But this is resistance. If we did push above that, your next target would be the inside of this ring or potentially this ring because we tend to go from ring to ring. So I predicted that when we hit this ring, we possibly get a pump. If we cross, we would drop. So we hit it. We got a pump. Um, we got topped out at that ring. Uh, also, this is the Binance chart. I was telling people, and this was this was a day and seven hours in advance. So if you guys were following me on Twitter, you knew in about a day and seven hours we would potentially have a crash. That's why I was calling this ring the Ring of Doom. You can see how well price is respecting it. Um, this is what I was telling people. I think we were topped out. You can see that we were repeatedly getting resistance. We'd already crossed this ring. Uh, the ring that we were pumping, the green ring, we got topped out at the uh, blue ring here, and you know for this tweet we're only 12 hours away. Uh, I'll cover the stock market in a bit. <clears throat> uh, this one we were six hours away, and you can see this was uh, May 9th. As soon as we hit this ring, as soon as we crossed it, I mean to the hour, it started dropping. It did consolidate for a bit, um, but then you, we got that. Uh, that crash. So let me go through some of these charts. So this is the um, this is the chart where I was predicting we hit the green ring, we would get a pump, uh, and then when we hit this blue ring, it would potentially be our resistance. You can see it was pushing price down. Um, and also, I was in a most recent tweet, um, I was telling people that I think 8,500 to 8,600 would be support, at least temporary support. I think it's very possible this will come down a lot further. But you can see we did get a pump from. Um, around 8,500 up to about 8,900. So do go through and check my tweets out. Um, like I said, there's there's a lot of tweets in here. I don't, I don't want to go through all of them, but I was giving different scenarios, and I'll go through some price targets. But this is the Ring of Doom. You can see what happened. As soon as we crossed it, we came down. We consolidated for a bit, and then we had this crash. Uh, again, I'll go through some charts. But you can see this chart right here showed support at 8,600. That's why in that tweet I made I was saying, and that was my most recent tweet here. That was this one. Uh, I was saying, this was nine hours ago. A few BTC charts show 8,500, 8,600 strong support. So it could retrace up here, up a bit from here. That's also where the orange ring is on the Bitstamp ring chart. That's this one. And uh, this is the Binance chart. So right here was 8,600. We strong support. You can see we got support right here. And this is the orange ring that we were respecting uh, previously. <clears throat> and I'll show you this in a larger scale as well. So again, uh, that was the ring of doom. It brought us down. We'll have to see what happens from here. I I'll show you some targets. This here was another chart um, that was showing that this would potentially be strong support. You can see we wicked down below it, but eventually we found support and we pushed back up. Um, again, we'll have to see which way this goes. Uh, this here is either the Bitstamp B or Bitstamp A chart. And this is a great chart for smaller targets. So I'm playing this. So when we come down here and hit the support, I'll buy, put a stop loss below, potentially write it back up. Uh, if we don't make it above that, I'll sell. So this is how I play it. Th this is great for um, smaller targets. So obviously, if we get above here, your next target would be potentially 9,168. Then we come down to support. If we don't break it, you buy, you ride back up, and you just repeat. Because every single one of these lines, the way I set up these FIB channels, these are all support levels. Uh, let's see. So 
<clears throat> the same thing um, like I was showing with uh, this ring here is potentially going to be a pivot if, if we consolidate sideways even if we drop down we could potentially find support again all of these rings uh, price respects these rings so it, it's possible if it goes on sideways long enough uh, you could expect a pivot when you cross uh, this blue ring but just like this ring when we crossed it it's very possible um, that when we cross this ring you can see uh, price has been respecting it I know I have a lot on this chart. Let me get rid of some of this. So you can see price is respecting this blue ring. You find resistance on it. You came up, you find resistance and support. Uh, more resistance. Didn't quite make it to it. You see you had a pivot here. So it's very likely that, uh, like what happened with that orange ring, will potentially happen with this blue ring here. Um, that is about 18 hours away. So it's possible, you know, we could ride up this ring and then cross and come down or just hit it and come down but you can see up here this was a lot of resistance so again if you pushed up you're going to get a lot of resistance up for 10,127 uh, I don't see that happening anything's possible uh, I, and I was mentioning this in video a, a few videos back that there was a gap up here that would potentially get filled uh, you know I was calling for us to pump up to a certain point and it made sense that if we were going to push up, we might fill this gap. And you can see we did. I mean, we the gap was between 10,220 and 10,085, and we wicked. We came right up to fill this gap, and then we wicked right down back below it. So, again, these these gaps do come into play. So you know, if we did push up much higher, we do have one more gap up here at between 11,805, 11,695. So if we did push up again for one more last hoorah, you know, this would be the point where, just like here, they would come up, fill this gap, and they come down. I'm not that bullish, but just want to let you know that that is a possibility. I do think we'll be coming down. Uh, this is the peak of the bull run chart. Guys, uh, always reference different charts. If, if we're going to have big moves, I, I suggest you load up peak of the bull run chart and the Kraken chart. That's the great charts for larger moves. You can see we came down, we almost touched this. <clears throat> this yellow ring has given us a lot of support and resistance. <coughs> so you can see at this point, you know, it retraced back up. So if you had this chart open, you notice we got close to this point and stopped. That was a potential buying point, which is around 8,100. Oh, by the way, if we do drop down, you can see we have been following up this trend line of support. So if we did have another drop, look at potentially um, 7700 as your next support level there are other charts that also um, there's a lot of confluence around 7700 for support even if only temporary but if you break that support I expect us to come down much further this is the um, which one is this I think this is the this is the Coinbase weekly chart so this is the more macro uh, this is on the daily, so this is the halving, um, it's on the 12th, that's just uh, two days away. If we do drop down, you can see this blue ring's been a lot of support, this is around 7500, maybe 7600, that gets a little more confluence with um, that previous chart. But again, if you'll take note that when we crossed this blue ring, we had a drop, when we crossed this white ring, we tanked. This is the next white ring out. And this is the next blue ring where it intersects. So, you know, if, if this goes down and sideways, I expect potentially to have a huge move to the downside when we cross this uh, white ring. And I do have other charts that show um, potential targets, but but we do go from ring to ring. So if we break this ring and this one, you know, you could come down here and potentially test 3,353. I have pre previous videos where I give um, targets to the downside. I still think it's very possible um, we could put in a lower low. My target is still this again. This is the peak of the bull run chart. Um, your first, your first major support. You know, if we have a large drop, of course, this is a downward angle. You know, 5700 down to 5400. This is the ring we bottomed on um, in that previous video. I, well, video before the last, I I, I was talking about where I call the bottom. Um, at around 3,900. So if we do have another drop, this this ring, because you can see how well we've been respecting this red flip circle. We got we got support and resistance on this one. We moved up. We found support. As soon as we broke it, 
we drop down, we found support, wrote up this red ring. As soon as we broke it, we dropped to this red ring. So if we drop past this, your next target potentially is 4,416 up to 40, 4,900. Uh, these trend lines will come into play. This is part of a FIB channel price has been respecting. I just use trend lines to extend it out. Keep in mind, um, these will be your potential uh, support levels as well. Ultimately, though, guys, if we do have one massive drop, just like uh, this ring was support, this, this red ring, this red ring became support. So if we break past this ring, you know, this this if we hit this ring and push up, you know, maybe the bull run started. If we break this, we're coming down to this ring because this is the next ring down. Uh, I'm just going through some of this stuff, but I do expect something major to happen. So do do uh, keep your eye on the Coinbase uh, weekly chart. I do think when we cross this white ring, this blue ring, we're going to have one heck of a drop. Um, I did add a new tutorial. It's called uh, Refined Method Creating Fib Channel, uh, a Fib Channel Chart. This is the tutorial here. Just play a little clip of it. Which is kind of cool though. Um, it's like if you're if you're trying to fit price action, like we're, we're moving this around. Let's see if we can so get I go it through and I create this entire chart from scratch. I show you how to create the Fib Channel charts. If I mean. I'll create these charts, but if you're interested in learning this method of charting I created, this is, I do have multiple tutorials. Again, the first one, the most important thing is trend lines. All my uh, charts that I create are based off of trend lines. So the most important thing is understanding trend lines, how you can find um, potential tops and bottoms. And, and it is amazing what you can find with trend lines on the macro scale, and it works just as well on the micro scale. And then I show you how you can create uh, FIB circles from the uh, trend lines and then you know these are the older style when I was creating these fib channel charts but I had learned a lot since creating these so that's why I created this tutorial that shows the new things that I've learned setting all of this up and again guys uh, if you pay for tutorials if you just want tutorials it's $150 but again I'm offering lifetime access for everything for $299 so if you do want to go that route guys just uh, send me an email through the contact form uh, I am updating um, altcoin charts. I'm just doing uh, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ripple right now. Later, I'll go through and potentially do BCH, and I'll, I'll do some um, some polls on my uh, website and find out which. I'll, I'll put a few uh, alts up, and you guys can decide which ones you want me to create. But I would like to show you. So these, the most recent altcoin charts I put up is um, XRP. And so I've got, um, and I'm playing around with different indicators, and I'm asking you guys to kind of give me your feedback, what you like. But uh, I have RSI, and I have the, the MACD in here. Trying to kind of change color scheme, but you can see when I set up this chart, price is respecting these FIB channels. This is the uh, one day with, the, with this ribbon. Um, I also have, so i got three versions of it. This is with the Ichimoku cloud, <laughs> and again, I need to adjust maybe the coloring of it, but this is with ring, so you can see currently XRP is finding resistance on this ring right here. It pushed us down. Your next support for XRP, if we have one heck of a drop, would be around, what, uh, 13 cents? You can see that we did find support right here on this ring. So I'm, I'm telling you guys, these rings are just amazing for finding targets and pivot points. We found perfect support in this ring, pushed back up right to this uh, this line in this. Actually, yeah, that is a, a FIB channel line. We found support on it. And I do have the VP, VPVR in here to give you uh, potential points where there's a lot of volume. Uh, just showing you these versions of the altcoin charts or for XRP. And this one here, I have another ring in here. But as you can see, when we drop down, the first time we picked way down below, the second time we came down found perfect support. You can see this, this uh, line right here for XRP was a lot of resistance. So obviously this would be support. So again guys, I'll be creating, uh, updating all my altcoin charts with this style. But please give me your feedback if the coloring if of the candles, I, it stands out more. That's why I made them red and white. But again, I, I'd like to... Uh, you know, have you guys give me your feedback. So once I get this this style set up and have all the indicators you like, then I'll start using this this same setup for all the other altcoin charts. Uh, 
so I do have stocks as well. Um, these are all the stocks I currently have. I would like to go over. And by the way, I'm I'm going to be doing the S and P 500. Uh, I was. <laughs> a lot of people are asking about the Nasdaq. So this is what I was talking about. I did a poll here, um, whether to chart S and P or the Nasdaq. 85% chose uh, S&P, so I'll be creating that today, along with Litecoin and Ethereum uh, with the same style I did the XRP. But uh, when I get finished with those, then, then I'll probably put up a, a few um, altcoins, and you guys can decide which one you want me to chart first. But uh, I did want to point out in the Dow Jones, um, you know, I'd set up this ring here, this, this brown ring that price has been respecting. And it just so happens that uh, we're going to make contact with this brown ring right at the time of the halving. And you can see when we hit this brown ring, it pushed price down. We kind of rode down it. It pushed it down. We rode down it, found support. So it, it's just kind of, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but I think something's going to happen pretty soon. This will be, what, I guess Monday? So I, I do think there's going to be some, some downside for the stock market, uh, not to mention the, uh, the jobs. Uh, it was like 30 million jobs that were lost in the U.S. So that's going to have some effect on the stock market. So I would check um, pre-market trading data to find out <clears throat> if the stock market is going to be coming down a lot, which I think it probably will. We'll have to pay attention to that. Guys, I do have a Discord. If you do sign up, uh, make sure that when you go to access charts, you go to the bottom, you see an inv invite to the Discord. Just click this link, you'll get invited. Once you're already invited, you can just click the Discord link to get access. But guys, that's pretty much it. Um, just make sure you follow me on Twitter because, again, this is the first place I go to um, you know, make a post because it's, it's quick and it's easy. If I make a video, it, you know, it takes up to an hour to record, process, and upload the video. So here, just make a tweet. I'm done. So this is where you should follow me to keep up to be um, kept up to date. Again, I never thought I'd be on Twitter. I didn't want to get on Twitter, but it does seem uh, it's a very easy way just to keep you guys updated for what I'm looking at. And I will keep making videos, guys. Uh, but definitely uh, check out <laughs> this video I made about Sunny. Um, I'll, I'll put a link up to it right now. Um, this guy is wrecking everyone. It was yesterday he put up a video that said, uh, buy now, <laughs> and then we had that crash. This guy is the worst, the worst TA guy that I think I've ever seen on YouTube. But guys, I will keep you updated. Um, I'm making more charts, and those charts will be up soon. Um, the next charts I'm doing today is Litecoin, Ethereum, and uh, the S&P 500. And then after that, I'll start creating more charts for you guys. But guys, that's it. If you do want to access these charts, the link to my website is in the description. It's opticalartcrypto.com. Follow me on um, Twitter. It's uh, opticalartchart. And I will keep you guys updated. That's it.